I get asked a lot what the difference is between making a drawing in a war zone versus taking a photograph. Um, and I, I don't necessarily think that one is deeper or more spiritual than the other, although this can be the case. But a, a great photographer will certainly take an image which, uh, you know, which is art. Um, but I think that for me, the issue boils down to this. A camera is it's a machine. It's, it's a lens which will record exactly what that lens is capable of recording. And beyond that comes the, the choice of the photographer. That's where their subjectivity kicks in. With an artist, it starts with the very first thing, which is the line. Every mark that you make on the paper as an artist is a mark that has been your choice, either conscious or unconsciously, or by mistake, to make. So all of that reflects something individual about your personality. So for me, the main difference between art and photography is that when you're making a piece of art, you, you are much more intimately reflecting your own subjectivity and also your own biases. It's not about being objective per se, it's rather it's about being truthful to the vision as you feel it. I think with photographs it's much harder to get that. A photographer, in a way, the photograph was really made for the decisive moment, for that moment of action which explains itself without the photographer having to kind of interpolate it too much. The fact that I was drawing and not taking photographs meant that the Iraqis could see what I was doing. It was right in front of them. I think that when a photographer goes into a foreign country and just takes photographs, people are often suspicious because they have no idea what it is that has just been photographed. Um, and they don't know why they've been photographed most of the time as well. But drawing is somehow so disarming because they not only can see exactly what I'm doing, but there's a kind of a magic where a bunch of lines start to cohere into something that actually looks and is read as, th as three-dimensional reality. And this is something that a lot of people like to watch. So that was among the, the, the more stimulating things that I did in Iraq.